I've carried uh, legislation for two years on this topic to make sure that top public officials' tax returns are available either to the public or what we've now done is make them available to people's representatives in Congress. Uh, ultimately, this topic wouldn't have come up had the president not abandoned 40 years of precedent of making returns available to the public uh, and had his Secretary of the Treasury not denied Congress's rights to access tax returns. But ultimately, it stands for a broader principle that uh, top public officials should be totally transparent about what potential conflicts of interest they have, and our uh, president hasn't done that. Do business people, do ordinary citizens need to be concerned that their tax returns are going to be exposed to public scrutiny now? We've made sure that the final legislation only applies to elected officials, top appointees in government, and the entities that they control or that they're significant shareholders of. So the uh, average New Yorker, uh, average business in New York is not going to be exposed to this. That having been said, these congressional committees are supposed to already have access to every American's tax return through the Internal Revenue Code. Uh, so the fact that that's not happening with regards to the president is part of why we're making sure New York State's tax returns are available to the Congress. I like to think one way or another there will be more transparency when it comes to the tax returns of top elected officials um, and whether that happens because the Department of the Treasury finally recognizes its obligations or because a court intervenes or because of this state law. I think one way or another, we need to have more open government.